I am Jason Abraham, the Shadow Teacher 33, and I want to continue to dive into these concepts of Lucifer and Araman from the anthroposophical perspective. And again, anthroposophy is Rudolf Steiner's spirituality, where we address the trinity of three divine beings, that being Lucifer, the light bringer, the consciousness bringer, Araman, the dark lord of materialism, and then the Christ principle, the Christ consciousness, which is the highest potential of the human being, which is the sovereign path of the human being. And though Lucifer and Araman are opposites, Lucifer again being a being that works by flooding the human with excessive consciousness, more consciousness than the human can process, or flooding the human with ego inflation and excessive pleasure to the point of being out of their bodies to escaping their 3D reality. And then Araman, the exact opposite, a being that's so materialistic that hardens the human consciousness to the point to where they are not existing beyond materialism, someone who is caught in the dynamics of money, of power, of numbers, of simply being a cog in the matrix and being stuck in the density of matter. We have the extreme of Araman. And the two kind of work together to keep the human consciousness enslaved. And so when, when the Christ principle is not there, the Christ principle being the balancing principle, this is the principle that comes from our heart. This is the principle of the highest goodness of the human soul. This is the principle of love, having a transcendent love, having a sense of purpose that transcends, that goes beyond our ego, which is Lucifer, and then goes beyond materialism and the illusion of safety, which is Araman. And so... When someone, for instance, is seeking money and security and safety as their highest value and takes on work for the sake of money alone, thinking they can go on a path and just make as much money as possible, and then they find out what is asked of them is soul draining. This person may even may not even acknowledge they have a soul, but once they engage in this aramonic work, which is just life draining which hardens them, they're going to feel compelled to have a dopamine hit. And so that's why you have this dynamic of people working jobs they hate for the sake of money and security, and then spending that money on pleasure, on alcohol, on escapist types, you know, vacations, alcohol, escapist type pleasure that doesn't accumulate any other value other than just escaping the the misery of the the aramonic matrix and then people get in the cycle of devoting so many hours of their life to this this aramonic consciousness of working a job they hate grinding away for money and security and then seeking pleasure to feel alive seeking dopamine hits through alcohol through experiences that give them a sense of escape. And unless there is a Christ principle that brings some kind of meaning and purpose and love that goes beyond, again, goes beyond the ego, then people essentially wear their life force down in this way. And they get stuck with this life with no meaning and often don't understand why their life has no meaning. And you hear people who complain about their lives constantly and are, again, just living for a day they can retire or living for the weekend because they have no connection to their lives and they really have no connection to the, the pleasure-seeking e either. So how the, the Christ principle, if we, if we brought in the Christ principle, then there would be some kind of purpose one could be in a situation where they do need to make money to fund 
a family or fund something that, that comes out of love, that, that's truly soul connected, but the love gives the person a meaning, gives it a purpose and makes sometimes the hard work more bearable. The ideal situation, which I know not everyone is in, is to have work that is meaningful to you, a purposeful work where your heart is truly invested. And when you're putting the effort in, when you're putting the work in, you don't feel like you're working because you feel like you are moving towards creating something that truly has meaning and value in your life and, and meaning and value that transcends your ego, meaning and value for others. And then applying the Christ principle and balancing Lucifer, you, know, you, you look at what brings pleasure to your life, what brings joy, but you look at you know, what truly recharges you. What, what do you need to, to balance feeling good? And you know, sometimes doing things that, that uh, just make you feel happy. But when you go back to your work, you feel like you have more to give. You feel recharged um, because you, you truly did something that was pleasurable, but was something that was dear to your heart. And then your pleasure seeking or your your luciferic impulse is flooded with the Christ consciousness because it has some kind of purpose there. And it's connected to a bigger purpose, which is your understanding how to balance the Lucifer and Armon, the, the Armonic system being the work system, the grinding away, the, the money making with the Lucifer, which is the uh, the need for pleasure, which we all have, the need for transcendence. And again, sometimes the Luciferic principle, it's not just pleasure seeking. It, you hear people who are always going off on ayahuasca trips or taking psychedelics to expand their consciousness, but they're, they're doing it all the time as opposed to integrating the lessons. That's, that's the, the Lucifer that's out of balance. But when someone takes a retreat here and there, and is intentional and conscious about it, then that's bringing the Lucifer principle, or the, the, the Luciferic energy into balance. And once again, we have Lucifer and Aramon. We have both of those spirits in us. We're made up of, of Luciferic and Aramonic impulses, and they are not bad in and of themselves. They're only, they only become evil when in the extremes, and I should say the intent of the beings is evil. The intent is to bring humanity into slavery, to bring humanity into a slave consciousness to where we are no longer sovereign beings. We're basically a, a slave to pleasure-seeking, slave to transcending our bodies on the Lucifer side, or we're a slave to money and power and status on the Aramonic side, and a slave to constantly grinding away in the matrix. But in balance, when we bring consciousness into our body to where we can integrate it, and we have solid systems in our life that are supporting our dream and our purpose, and solid habits and behaviors that are supporting our dream and purpose, and we're aware of our dream and purpose, which is a love that is a love for ourself, but also is a love that transcends where we're doing something unique. We're here for what we came here for. Then we are living in alignment with the Christ principle. We become a blessing to the world. So with that being said, I wish that you know the blessing that you are. You have that awareness and you're doing the best that you can to balance Lucifer and Aramon and you're living that Christ principle. I'll see you on the other side.